The time keeps ticking when it's paused. Never a fan of that feature. It says it was like 3.59, right? Wait for like five seconds. And bloop. Ah! So this pause menu, this, well not really a menu, but this pause pauses the timer, but the other one doesn't. There is technically some gameplay in the pause menu sometimes in games. But I, yeah, I don't like it when the, the time for how long you've been playing keeps ticking when you're in a pause menu in any game, really. I think that kind of thing led to like a stat where like I think my Mass Effect 3 gameplay claimed that it took me 84 hours or something to beat the game. And I'm like, that's not possible. <laughs> it's a chunky game, but it does not have 84 hours in it. But it's because I would just leave it paused while I was doing something else sometimes and then they would just keep counting it's like wow way to make that timer fucking useless <laughs> I think Zelda Skyward Sword thinks I've played it for over a hundred hours <laughs> because I had to leave it paused at some points because I didn't have a save point nearby and didn't want to replay the in-between There was a full moon, and I was reading a book under the luminous light of the moon. I loved reading at night. It was only then that I could enjoy peace. I died. That midnight, the moon was stained blood red. It was midnight. The blood-stained moon was glaring at me. It was mid. He died at midnight on a blood moon. There's an eyeball. The bottom of the pool. It's that fish's eye. When the moon emits its luminous red glow, try and insert it. Insert it? Hmm. Shit. <laughs> midnight was four hours ago. So I have a bit of a wait. Uh, hopefully I can come up with other stuff to do until then and don't have to just actually wait. So that's why this game is a day-night cycle. It's not just there to fuck me over with uh, the casino, it's also there to make me wait for other objectives. <laughs> Having a day-night cycle can be cute. And like real-time stuff and like Majora's Mask type stuff can be neat. But only if there's like a ton of stuff to do in that game. If I find myself in a situation where it's just I can't find anything else to do, then that having to wait is just a bummer. I definitely, it's definitely nice that most games that have real-time timers of some kind also have like a, a wait mechanic. It let's you skip around. But one of my goals right now is I need to figure out how to get rid of the water. I don't think I can just get in the pool. That'll keep me, that'll keep me busy for now. So it might be somewhere around here. It might be somewhere down here. There might be like a pump or something that lets me drain the pool. Alright, so backwards facing door, front facing door. We should if we go this way, we should run out of shit pretty quickly. What's this say? Pump room for the pool. Well, that answers my question. Still gonna have to wait for a while, what aren't I? What should I do? It won't move. If I don't fix it, I too will end up like that person. Like what person? I'm dead. Sir William will kill me. Please, God, help me. She's scared that Sir William will come for her. Another toy bird. Toy parakeet. There must be something broken, for it won't move at all. Do you also need a gear? You do. I guess I need to go back and take the gear out of the other one, now that we've dealt with the other lady by turning the lights on. There are some parasols. It's pretty dark in here. 
Seems like the ghosts don't get scared away by it usually, only the evil one or something. I'm dead. Sir William will kill me. Please, God, help me. So she teleports back and forth and I can't catch her, but she teleports to the parakeet. So I guess turning the parakeet on must be how I do this. There's a large wooden box. Can I open it? Not sure. I don't see much to do in here, so it's probably just the parakeet. <clears throat> Ah. What am I looking at? Oh, right, there's a beam in between the two doors. That's important. Uh-oh. Well, that's not good. Excuse me. Excuse me. Ow! Shit. Oh, I'm stuck. Oh, I'm gonna die. Oh. If you try to go that way, you get stuck completely. Well, suddenly we're getting game overs left and right, huh? I thought I could sneak past her. No. Crap, when's the last time I saved? If it's back before I defeated her, that'll be kind of a bummer, but it'll also be kind of convenient. That means I can go grab the gear back out of the, the bird the first time this time. And I think the only dialogue that we'd have to repeat... Oh! No, I'm here. Okay. Let's go back for the bird. The only, th the only dialogue that I think I'll have to replay is the... the guy who died. That's not... that's really vague. Everyone's dead. Uh, the kid that talks about the blood moon? Which... Uh? Yeah, the this sp this spooky goopy shit, which I think hurts you. But last time it was blocking my path, and this time it's not. Guess I might as well turn the light back on? I thought she might come to the bird when it was turned on, so I turned the lights off so they could come down here. Then maybe I'd kill her but turn the light on. Goodbye, clockwork bird. I have killed you. And I shall not regret it. I haven't gone this way yet, have I? Could be important. Oh wait, no, that's just the two directions, right. It's like, it's still like 4 a.m. So unfortunately, uh, still gonna have to wait a long time to deal with the moon thing. Hopefully, clockworking the bird somehow helps with the ghost. Cause I'm not really sure what to do with her. All right, the stuff. Not necessarily the most important items in the world, but it does feel weird to leave things incomplete, doesn't it? The game definitely moves at a pace where you feel the consequences of death just as a result of that. The slow plodding, moving around. Hmm. 
Went from basically never dying to dying surprisingly frequently. I guess the, uh, the child was less dangerous. She'd very slowly pick you up and throw you across the room. And then he'd be like, I'm out of here. And then maybe if you really screwed up, they'd hit, she'd hit you again. But it was a slow enough process. Whereas this one just shoots ectoplasm at you. <clears throat> Man, what game am I thinking where there's like a blue ectoplasm? That's like a bunch of heads that are ghost heads together. Maybe as an item or an enemy, I don't remember. Might be Castlevania, actually. The wait for midnight begins anew. I got here a little faster this time because I was moving all rapid fire. So we saw this scene at nighttime now. I suppose draining the pool couldn't be that easy. fix it, I too will end up like that person. If I don't fix it, hmm. I'm dead. Please, God. So she was referring to the bird, too. So she thinks she's gonna die if you can't fix this in time. Well, guess what? Wow, it's annoying. Ta da! Um. I guess I'll take it back out now. Like, right? Oh, it rests in perfectly, so I can't pull it out. And by rest perfectly, they mean it clips through the other gears, because the points are pointing at the points right now, which is not how gears work. Oh well. Oh, hello. Did that just come out when I fixed it? Do you want it? Do you want it? Go find it! Go find it! I wasn't ready for it to talk at me. I guess that is, yeah, it's in character for a bird. A parakeet. makes sense the lat I had to do a vision to get the last plate so I guess each of the four plates probably has one even though it is old it is still very much a beautiful grave something is written the eminent man who sought the beginning with his last breath of life he cuts open the eternal path. Infinitely inside the abyss between life and death. Very dramatic. Ooh. They all have different things written on the back. There's an emblem carved into the tombstone. The wing is the emphasis of this emblem. Fish. A tower. Thank God for descriptions, because I'm not sure what I'm looking at sometimes. It's like, ah, oh, there's antlers on a on like a shield with a number two on it. <laughs> so I guess that's supposed to be a tower, the the two. I guess I can see the fish on here a little bit. It's hard. That one's a little easier to tell that it's a wing or a comb. <laughs> Thank you. 
Oh, it just opens. Oh. Oh. Um, maybe left or right? So wing, fish, tower? Tower, fish, wing? No. Well, I'm locked in here now. <laughs> uh, I wonder if this is another grave. Seems different from the others. We're all inside. I wonder if this is a door. Seems like it won't open easily. I'd be pretty concerned if a mausoleum or something just fucking locked behind me. Not exactly supposed to support life. Oh, hey old guy. He's moving very slowly. There's a metal fence. A thick latch is secured on the gate entrance. Hello, sir. Can you help me? Are you a time limit? What have we here? You're still loitering? I've never talked to you before. Get out of here. Oh, he traps you. Or at least that's how you get out. I was wondering how the hell you get out of there because I was, seemed to be trapped until I knew the puzzle solution. I guess he's constantly following me and he'll chase me out if he ever catches me and he goes really slow like a horror monster. Do you want it? Do you want it? Go find it! Go find it! Oh. <clears throat> so maybe I can like, maybe there's an order to the puzzles, let's see. Anything down here? Nope. With his last breath of life. The eminent man who sought the beginning. Infinitely inside the abyss between life and death. Uh, I mean, one of them says beginning, but I don't know about that. Hmm. Sought the beginning. Look, the, be, between life and death. Last breath? So it might be tower, fish, wing? I don't know. Tower. Fish. Wing? No? Tower. Wing. Oh! Okay. Get me out of here, he's gonna get me! <laughs> I'm starting to get kicked out of visions by people now. Between this old man and the doctor from earlier. Like I'm a trespasser. Which I kind of am. I was never here. If anyone had a connection to this place, it was my dad. It's like, is that water pooling down the walls or is it mold? The way it trickles makes me think it's water. And then that one's blood. Concerning in its own way. Plenty of blood. I guess you'd say too much blood. Plenty is a creepy way to describe blood. 
Such plentiful organs. The vase. That looks like the vase from above the fireplace. There's a relief with a strange picture carved into it. There's a thick iron gate. It can't be moved. There's just, every now and then there's just a random bleeding piece of wall. It's pretty distressing. So far it doesn't seem to do anything, so maybe if I get the diamond shaped thing I can put it in here. Then press the button and something happens. <clears throat> it must be past that dark all end. I assume this is like a zone transition because they couldn't fit all on one screen. Hello? No monsters so far. You again. Huh. Those things are just kind of reoccurring. Who's there? What? Oh, it's a new one. What are you doing here? How did you get inside? It's a new old man. Wait, isn't that the guy with a knife? I prefer not to have any trespassers here. Please leave. The exit is over here. Come. Oh, does he know how to do these? It's like, the exit's over here, and it's like, please take this completely different path than the one you took before. It's over there. Huh? <laughs> Haha! Oh. What's wrong? Go ahead. I thought the plate was gonna close. Uh, the gate was gonna close in his face, and I'm like, haha, I took it, you fool. Okay, so now I can't go backwards, so it's like a weird puzzle there. Um, you're guiding me towards a corpse, is this a trap? Isn't she the one who's attacking me everywhere? Yeah, this isn't the exit. You've def you don't know how hard it is for me to bait people into here. Today must be my lucky day, for now I have two souls. Fuck. Uh, do I defeat him with my dress suit? <laughs> Flying fish plate. Can I just like throw it at his face? Um. Shit. No, ow. What's wrong? Is this as far as you can go? Hehehe. <laughs> Shit. Alright. Go away. Shit. Okay, he's not very fast. <laughs> <laughs> I'm good. <laughs> what are you doing here? There's nowhere to run. Your soul belonged to William. Shit, 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 Awkward puzzle in the middle of being chased. Okay. This goes somewhere. Um... That's worrying. Those more bodies? I'm not sure what I'm looking at there. Oh. What does that say? Is something written forward becomes backwards, backwards become forward. What? 
Okay. Did I do it? Go, 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 go. I don't know what that means. Can I close it on him? I don't think I can close it on him. Shit. I must have done something wrong. Try to get back to the puzzle. Backwards becomes forwards. Wow, I actually got around him. I was not. I did not have faith in that. Do I do the action backwards? Like press the button, then put the plate in? Yes. Okay. Ah, the whole wall opened up. A wall that I didn't have really have evidence that it would open anyway. Uh, which way do I even want to go? There's this ladder. But, uh, yeah, I guess this is my ex my escape. Get out. Are we good? Am I out of the dream? Okay, so that's good. I have I have the plate. And I didn't die. Yeah. Yeah. That's good. Hmm. So I have this for the door. What time is it? 6 p.m. It's getting later. That's good. I wish there was a save point around here. I don't want to go all the way back to the other save point, but I also don't want to risk dying. Deal with this pump and that's a problem. I'm gonna die. Yeah, I'm not I'm not sure what to do with her. Let's uh Ooh. Let's go save. We're down to the wire though. I need to act fast if I'm gonna be ready by midnight. Wait, what? Whoa, it's getting red in here. I'm locked in here, I can't go back to the save. Oh shit. Seven fifteen PM. A little down to the wire. Shit. I guess I gotta deal with her. There must be a way then. I don't have anything. Fuck. Okay. All right. All right. BRB. Gonna replay the memory. Uh, 
we'll pick up the next episode when I've gotten a little further into it. Am I in trouble here? Can I already play the memory? Shit. I might be in trouble here. Huh. Because I don't have a way of defeating the ghost. But that was her body back there. I think I need to get something from her body in order to defeat her. Because what happened last time is we discovered how the little girl died. And then that gave us a teddy bear that we could use. I think this time I needed something from her body. So I found her body. I actually might have gotten into one of those old-fashioned 90s games unwinnable states. I can't leave because the doors are locked, and I don't have anything to defeat her with. So I might have to just load a save. Thankfully they don't let me save, I guess. Or I could, or I could get stuck in the state permanently, and that would suck. But yeah, I don't think I can, uh, I don't think I can defeat her. She's directly blocking my path. Yeah, I can't use like the fish plate on her. Kill me! Ow, holy crap. Alright, well, I'll see you next time. I'm gonna go replay that uh, memory real quick and figure out what I missed. We're dying left and right all of a sudden.